Abortion. It's the biggest human rights issue of our time. There are no other rights without the right to life. Young Catholic and pro-life supporter Beatrice Piat is part of a generation of young people hoping to stop the million dollar abortion industry. We know as Christians that to kill is wrong and that God, th God thinks that for us to kill is wrong. But what we also need to acknowledge is that to not stand up for people who are being killed, that's also wrong. Miss Piat was among hundreds of pro-life supporters who stood up for life in Brisbane's Queen's Park for the annual Rally for Life on Saturday, March 7. The pro-life movement is attracting thousands of women and men who believe that life begins at conception. The movement has faced opposition from those who believe abortion should be a legal right for any woman who, for a number of reasons, wants to terminate her child. A chicken, a seed is not a tree, a fetus ain't a baby, don't put that These people are also seeking something and that they wouldn't be here if they weren't. I commend them on the fact that, they're, that they are here because they believe in something. You know, there's so many lukewarm people in our society that I believe that believing in something is better than believing in nothing. So I think that we all have something to learn from each other and that if we only have the, the time to listen to each other lovingly and in a civilised way, I really think that something can be worked out. Queensland mother Cara Ward was pressured into aborting her 18-week-old baby boy because doctors suspected he had Down syndrome. And the doctor began to tell me that my son had ecogenic foci and his nuchal fold was measuring larger than it should and that together with my age that meant I had a 1 in 250 chance of having a child with Down syndrome. I was really grateful at that time for two things in particular. One was knowing with conviction the fact that life does begin at conception. Dr. Graham Cumming, who practices in Mackay, said he would never refer any woman for an abortion because of the science of embryology. The pro-life issue can stand on the science of embryology, purely, solely and simply. If you oppose the right to life of an unborn child, you simply do not understand the science. I have been in medical meetings where uh, people have said that people such as myself should not be members of the profession if they're not willing to refer for an abortion. Victorian Member of Parliament Bernie Finn also made an appearance at the Rally for Life and said it was a national shame that Australia even offered abortions. It is a national shame that we have places, buildings that are there for one reason and one reason alone and that is to kill babies. Could you ever have imagined that that would happen in Australia? Why isn't there the same outrage when 100,000 babies, human babies, are killed in this country every year? It's wrong, it's wrong, and it has to stop. I just think it's wonderful that we do have members of parliament brave enough to stand up and actually support life. Cherish Life Queensland State President Theresa Martin is convinced abortion will end if pro-life supporters publicly raise their voices. We need to be able to talk about this on the bus, sitting next to someone. Get out there, be vocal about it in a loving, respectful manner.